volunteering isn't hard. It might take a little bit of time, but yeah. everyone can do it. In fact, thousands of people here in the Ozarks do it every day. Each week, we'll show you some of the people doing good in our communities and let you know how to help. Our first volunteer knows a thing or two about butterflies, and you've probably seen a lot of the monarch butterflies mm -hmm. lately. September is when they migrate through Missouri to Mexico. But did you know more than 36,000 people a year come to visit the Dr. Bill Roston Native Butterfly House at Nathaniel Green Park? It's all possible because of volunteers. It's the only native butterfly house in the state of Missouri, and it's right here in Springfield. One of the volunteer curators. Most people don't have good feelings about most insects, but everybody loves butterflies. Is a biology professor at MSU. I've been interested in butterflies since I was a kid, so it was a natural thing for us, for my wife Deb and I, to, uh, to offer to raise butterflies. Dr. Chris Barnhart and his wife Deb spend countless hours at the Butterfly House volunteering and their work doesn't stop when they leave the park. A lot of it happens at home because we raise most of the livestock at home. Most of the butterflies and moths are uh, raised tabletop in containers until they reach the chrysalis stage and then we bring them in here. And when he says most, he means hundreds, if not thousands, of moths and butterflies they raise. That's according to Lisa Bakerink, the executive director of Friends of the Garden. Quite frankly, without them, we would not have the display we have. She says Dr. Barnhart's background helps him be the science behind their success. Uh, sometimes we get plagued with diseases with some of our species of butterflies or moths. Um, sometimes there are, you know, parasites and things like that, and he helps us learn about that and take steps to counteract some of those problems. And like in the classroom, Dr. Barnhart enjoys teaching visitors about our native moths and butterflies. All of this works together, that the plants are food for the insects, the insects pollinate the plants. While being involved in the ecology of it all, his favorite part about volunteering is giving tours. The only thing better than watching a butterfly is watching kids watch butterflies. They get so excited. I feel like I get excited sometimes, and I'm an adult. But, you know, you don't have to be a, a professor of biology to do this. There's a group of about 30 to 40 volunteers that work in the Butterfly House every season. If you're interested in learning how to help, training sessions are available this spring, and there are countless other volunteer options at Nathaniel Green as well, so go ahead and just give them a call. Okay. Come on.